Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you be watching this transmission, tis I, Mike Martins. Guys, don't forget to check me out tomorrow night, Mike in the Night, Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Western Seaborg time, Tijuana, L.A. County, Seattle time. Anyways, guys, the R word. What is the R word? And what economists have on their minds? Remember, guys, we've been talking about this for a long time. We're in a stagnation, deflationary environment. China and uh, uh, Russia are selling off U.S. treasuries and buying gold. Uh, rising debt uh, is surpassing our wages. Uh, we're bar most of us are borrowing more than what we could afford to pay back. And QE, we're going to start. I, is Canada going to go into QE? I know the United States might go into QE, quantitative, quantitative easing. Um, and it's a manufactured QE. If you don't know, it's a manufactured deception uh, to bail out the banks is what it is, right? And... A majority of our D GDP is consumption, and with people running out of equity in their homes, they're trying to push 30-year mortgages now. It is not looking good. It is not a student student loan debt. Um, and I, I'm not trying to be... Um, I'm, I'm not trying to be like all like, you know, doom and gloom and stuff. I, I really am not. But... Um, the only way the only way the United States solved its financial crisis in the 40s was they went to war, right? So this is not good, guys. We are headed towards really dark, bleak times. So we got the R word. The R word will be on the minds of economists react to Canada's disappointing GDP. I've been saying it for years. Things are really not looking good. I've never seen so many people borrow to live. Why are you borrowing to live? You know what I'm saying, and the student loan de uh, debt is 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 auto loans defaults. It's 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 connect the dots, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Canada's economy. I hate when it does this, but all right. Canada's economy nearly grounded to a halt in the last three months of 2018, expanding at the annualized pace of 0.4 percent in the fourth quarter. Woo! Oh yeah, Statistics Canada said that Friday, marking the worst quarterly performance in two years two and a half years oh nelly okay where did that go there it is canada's gdp came in well below economist expectations of a one percent annualized expansion with consumption growing at the slowest pace in almost four years housing slumping the most in a decade and business investment falling for a second straight quarter so people are borrowing from their homes to consume they're not borrowing from their homes to open a business that's what's not happening anymore, you know, as much. Here's a look at the at the economists. Uh, here, how the economists are reacting to Canada's fourth quarter GDP report. The R word will be on the minds of Canada's economy. Uh, barely skittered the start of recession of Q4. If not for a huge employment gain in January, we'd be worried about an outright recession. But at this point, it's the best described as a stalled engine. Uh, I don't know about that, guys. CIBC Capital Markets Managing Director, Chief Economist says, ouch, we are experiencing a sub 1% report, but this report still managed to disappoint given the weak comp um, composition within the sectors. Put simply, it is never a good sign when an inventory builds and import um, contraction and the factors keep growing above water. Uh, keeping growth above water is going to be really tough, guys. Remember that TV show, Good Times, JJ? Dynamite! Anyways, what's going on here? There really isn't much to say about this report. The variety of disappointments in both headlines and details. With oil production cuts... Oh, I forgot to mention that earlier. Oil, okay, put that down there. Oil, put it down there on the board. With oil production cuts now about to land on the early 2019 results, we can't look for a quick turn in overall growth. Instead, we'll have to wait for spring for the economy to pull out of its lengthy hibernation in Q4 and Q1. Accor accordingly, the Bank of Canada also looks to stay uh, very quiet for very long. So, guys, uh, there's another one here. On the, on the basis of this latest set of Woeful GDP figures. The Bank of Canada must surely be considering following the Fed's abandoning any talk of further interest rate hikes and next week's policy meeting. So if the U.S. goes ahead and raises rates, 
which they probably, they might, you never know. Canada doesn't follow suit. <gasps> Woo! It's going to be really interesting to see where things are going to be heading. Um, I, I, yeah, guys, you know, I'm going to tell you this. Um, I, uh, this quarter right now, it's stagnant and th the whole spring, everyone's hoping for the spring because Canada is so heavily dependent on its housing market to prop its economy and student loans and all that crap and uh, unsecured debt and auto loans and all that other crap. But anyways, the housing market, unfortunately, is tapped out. So it's, it's going to have to go down from, from where it stands. So people can't borrow from their homes to buy a blender. And if you can't borrow from your homes then you have deflation. We're going into a massive deflationary period and um, um, it's, it's, it's stagnation right now. And um, we need to find, it's gonna be really tough. I would not wanna be the chief economist in Canada right now sitting on that chair because um, I uh, we're on a second or a third economic bubble that we, phony bubble that we're on. The first was 2006, 2007. Canada didn't see too much of a change. It did, but not as much as the U.S. And the second phony bubble uh, was put together with a lot of QE and 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 uh, lowering, um, manufactured lowering, uh, illegally, low, lowering interest rates, which we've never humanly done in human history. So we're kind of playing with fire here. Right? It's like when the Romans took their gold coins that they used to give to people for currency and remove half the gold and put in some other metals in there. So people would think, you know, oh, it's it's not that much gold anymore in here, right? So, you know, so it starts defla uh, devaluizing the currency. And I think Canada might go into QE, into quantitative easing uh, to bail out its banks. And QE is manufacturing a deception to bail out the banks. And I said that earlier. That's exactly what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would like to know, are we in a recession already and are we headed to a depression? Let me know. Comment below. Thanks for watching. Oh, guys, share one of my videos, please. You want to get me out there, share one of my videos. I really appreciate it.